Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Suresh from Azure Automation Channel. Today in this session, I'm going to show you how we can uh, integrate our Eclipse project into GitHub. So many users has asked me this how to do. So there is some uh, trick here. So some people are uh, experiencing issue while pushing the project from Eclipse to Git. So today I will show you how to push the project from Eclipse to GitHub. So this is my Eclipse IDE and I'm going to create a new project uh, just create a uh, structure of a project so I'm going to select a Java project so it may be any project not specific to the Java project or Maven project so any project you can push to uh, github so I'm taking this as example and now I'm going to create this project so this is a project that it is created here in the left uh, project explorer section you can see this here is the uh, examples that we created and we need to go to the browser and open uh, github or login into the github so once you log in into the github and i'm going to use one of my test account here so for now i'm gonna create a new here so let's say this gonna be examples Okay, I'm using the same project name as a repository name. You can put this public or private uh, and you can keep and add, add readme or you can uh, commit later also uh, with a file. So now I'm going to create this repository. So as soon as you create, uh, it will show you the quick setup. So how to do from the command line. And these are all the command line uh, parameters that you can do but we are doing from eclipse so you can need to select https or ssh so you can use either of them so i'm going to use https and i'm going to copy this path okay once i copy i'm going to again go back to eclipse and this is examples project and i'm going to right click and uh, here in the options you can see team so under team you will have a uh, apply patch and a shared project so you need to click on share project and once you click on that option it will show you the configure git repository so use or create a repository for the parent folder so you need to select this option and as soon as you select this you need to select which uh, workspace that you're gonna create uh, for a git extension so you need to select this and you need to select and create create a repository here and I'm gonna navigate to the project from this left section after this so you uh, now you can see in the project it is not pointing to any uh, reference either it is pointing to the master or get repository so it is not showing anything so once I uh, create this repository so this dot get file will be added to our project and this will not display in the Eclipse but it will display in a, a local folder so to see that you need to right click to the project and go to the properties and in the properties you can go to the location and here in the examples uh, project you will see a dot git file is added here so if you are not seeing this you need to uh, unhide the hidden files so that you can do it from this section okay and i'm gonna go back to eclipse and I'll close it so we're gonna we just created dot git extension and now I'm gonna push this changes or push entire project to my git so for that I'm gonna right click and again go to team now you will see we have started a share project right so now it will show the all the options which are available uh, for git like commit pull request merge and we have uh, many options so we're gonna see them one by one later on and now you can go to this commit so once you open the commit directory i will expand this so it will show you the unstaged files so generally when you uh, go into the git bash command when you type for git status it will show you the un untracked files right so all these files are the same here so we need to select all these files and you need to drag to the stage it's changes so once you drag to here and here you need to uh, provide commit message so this is our pro first project to commit so i'm gonna name this as first commit and now i'm gonna commit and push 
uh, there is an uh, error happen so it is saying that cannot uh, connect to any repository so we haven't connected to our repository right we need to connect to repository for that uh, I need to click on OK and you will be little surprised that uh, uh, all unstaged stages or stage changes are uh, gone somewhere so those are there so no need to worry here in the right section you will see this push head so once you click on that it will show you this uh, window so destination git re repository so here we need to sign in so this is the uh, our git extension or git repository location so if it is not pointing to the exact location that you are supposed to then go back to the git and copy this git location again from here http location and uh, select all and paste it and this host details and repository path will be automatically added once you change this uri now in the authentication section you need to add your username and passwords so here i'm going to add my username and password so my username is so this is my username and i'm going to type my password so while creating a git account i created one password so i'm going to enter that password and i'm going to click on preview so in the preview it is saying that source of master is going to be committed and there is an id attached to it which is called this id and the remote location is this one and we're going to create a master branch in that remote repository and i'm going to click on preview again it is asking for me to enter uh, yeah, login details so i'm going to again add or type my name okay and password so click login and uh, you might be wondering it is not taking my user details so i'm gonna retry again so you need to just check the username uh, so here it is pointing my username i'm gonna use that one too so after giving my actual username and password it is still not taking my repository to the get location it is saying that cannot connect to the uri or you are not authorized to push it so this happened quite a bit times uh, when user try to push the code to get so for this we have an uh, option i'm gonna go back to the browser and i'm gonna click to my profile go to settings so in settings uh, you have this developer settings okay here you have a access personal access token right so here you need to create a new one uh, we need to go to tokens right so i already created one token so you need to uh, if you already have that handy you can use it or else you can generate a new token uh, i'm gonna generate a new token so just for time being so i'm gonna click this uh, generate a new token and i'm going to select this generate a new token classic so we have a beta version too that we will see later uh, i'm gonna state this as demo so duration i'm gonna keep this as only seven days because i already have that for demo purpose i'm gonna create another one so you can select uh, uh, these options uh, based on uh, your uh, preferences you can select this i'm just uh, randomly selecting couple of uh, options or you can select all the check boxes and just simply create access token i'm going to explain later on uh, what all these options are okay and let's click generate token now I just got this token. I'm going to copy this token and come back to the Eclipse. And again, I will click on this preview. Now it will again prompt uh, me the same uh, login details. So I'm going to simply enter my username. So in the password, I'm going to enter my token. 
So instead of uh, writing a password, I'm just entering a token there and click on login. Now it is accepted, but username and password it doesn't uh, accept it previously. So now it has accepted it. Now I'm gonna push this entire project into Git. So click on push. So one more time it will ask for the username and uh, the authentication token. So I'm gonna enter re-enter that again. Right click on login. Right. So this time it is saying that entire project is pushed to the remote repository and it is uh, saying that uh, it is successful and you can close this window. Right. Now if you go to browser and open the tab and here we are seeing this options right you just need to refresh this right our project is created here now you can create a branches or you can uh, uh, do a pair programming and commit your prs and merge them so this is the a process how you commit your project to the get remote using access token not the password so passwords are being not accepting for some reason so you can use the access token so that is the best option so see if someone if you shared your credentials to someone if they are misusing it you can uh, uh, remove the access token then uh, immediately entire privileges will be gone so this is the one of the advantage we have in uh, git and it is secure too i think i have covered the issue which is stated by some of the users so if you have any questions queries you can comment in my comment box i will help you out and if the session is helpful for you do post a like and share with a colleague and thank you for watching